Many of the plants we keep and enjoy in our aquariums will grow well in both submerged and immersed above water. Many plants we keep in our aquariums are actually not true fully aquatic plants. Immersed growth is possible because in nature, many of these species are actually amphibious, living along the edges of streams, lakes, or in low flood plains. During rainy seasons, they quite happily spend a considerable amount of time completely submerged. You'll need a shallow container. Fill the container with about 1 inch 2.5 centimeters deep of regular potting soil. Pour water in until the soil is just submerged but thoroughly wet. Then, take your plants and just put them gently in the soil. Once you have all of your plants planted, use plastic wrap to cover the container. You'll want a tight seal so the moisture doesn't evaporate. It might be necessary to use some tape to keep the plastic wrap from coming off. This will create a nice humid environment for your plants to transition to immersed growth so they don't dry out. Once you have your container all set up, you can either put it in a sunny window or underneath some full spectrum lighting. By planting all those interesting and odd species in the immersed tub you can free up your existing tanks and really aquascape them properly. However, there are physiological differences in the plant's leaf structure that make this transition difficult. How difficult varies from plant to plant. The basis for the difference in leaf structures between immersed and submersed growth comes down to nutrient transfer and respiration. Immersed growth plants have direct contact with a supply of air with all the CO2 it could need. Conversely, a plant underwater in submersed growth has to transfer CO2 and oxygen through the limits of what can be dissolved in the water column. The limits to CO2 in the water column leads to a dramatically different leaf structure. Aquarium plants that are grown and sold as immersed, having leaves that are acclimated to air, are sometimes more vibrant in green coloration compared to a submersed example. The leaves are sometimes a different shape and texture. <music> Tips for getting your immersed plants transition to submersed. Provide good water conditions for the plants, appropriate temperature. Provide fertilizers necessary for plant load. Provide light intensity and duration appropriate for selected plants. Proper pruning of dead and melting leaves. Time. <laughs>